Yeah. Yeah. I I made a mistake. This is a, the actual link. That's actually not linked to anything. Get code. Quickly do this. Just copy this. Paste it. Preview again. Why does it display them as blue? These are custom blue colors. Let's see, what does this code tell us? What color is this code? It's red. Hmm. Well, yeah, anyways, I'll deal with this later on. At least you know how to do it. But Navlink's color should be changed, shouldn't it? Okay, let's go back to Navlink's. Find color and change it to. Okay. So. Um, currently, I'm gonna color them manually. Whatever, just leave leave this for now. At least you know how to make a stuff, and you know. But now links, this is done pretty much. Yeah. Now, just to show you how dynamic boxes work, I'm just gonna go to Open Internet. Go to www.lipsum.com. This is the Lorem Ipsum standard template dummy site, sorry, text. Uh, just copy it over. I'll, yeah, I'll copy the whole text over and go to main text, div text, add it. I'll just, the beginning, You edits to it. Now, uh, save. Actually, I'll take a few lines off of it, and cut them, and put into sidebar. Save, save, and preview. Uh, here we are, and now you can see dynamics. Well, this is screwing up big time, but I'll deal with this myself. You can do it. Now you can see how dynamic boxes work. You can center this up by actually, I took away the center tags. They tend to get in the way. As you, as you might remember, I added to center tags here. I did this by going into actually code view and site body was the class and added text align to this and centered it. And it aligned everything up. But now I'll just take a few paragraphs off. Now, see, this is, there are no breaks in it and anything, or anything, but you can see this is currently uh, this big. Okay, I'm not gonna count or anything. I'll just add the other five lines, refresh it, and you see this changes. Hmm. Yeah, pretty much it. You might want to keep 
there's, I don't know how you're gonna compromise with it, but as you can see this is pretty much done. Oh, we didn't add the footer. Let's go to footer. Add design. Uh, but actually, I think I added a few styles to the footer as well. And this is it. I'll add the footer tags to your to the video description zone as well. But see you in the extra tutorials. Maybe someday I'll actually create a PHP tutorial. Actually, I'll tell you a little about this PHP line here. PHP echo this. This plays a variable that you can create quite easily. This is PHP Echo. And I'll just move the head tag, write question mark PHP. Actually, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to have to do this right. But see you guys.